Finally, in about 2017 is whenever I actually started showing signs of jaundice and my eyes started turning yellow, my skin started turning yellow, and I went to the doctor and they performed some more tests. And finally, at the end of last year, they recommended that I get on the transplant list to get a new liver. So in February of this year, I was officially put on the liver transplant list and I had to just wait and wait a long time and what felt like a long time I should say and finally over the summer I got a call in August that there was a liver available for me and that I should come to the hospital within a few hours. When I got that call I thought I was going to go into instant panic but I was actually really calm called my family, told them all I was heading to the hospital and that I was gonna go get a liver transplant potentially. So I went there, I got prepped, um, finally found out that my surgery was going to happen. They performed a transplant within 48 hours and I woke up feeling pretty wonderful. And I continued to feel wonderful for about a week, um, but then some tests started showing that something wasn't quite right. And finally, about a week after that first transplant, um, I found out that the first liver was not working properly and that there was something going on and that I would need to go into emergency surgery immediately and figure out what's going on. The emergency surgery wasn't as successful as they had hoped and there was still something going on with the liver. I had never felt worse in my whole life. Um, I was just laying there um, on a ton of medicine and I couldn't move and I didn't want to get out of bed because I just felt so terrible. So um, my doctor actually recommended that I go back on the transplant list again because the liver wasn't functioning like it should. Um, during that time, there was about a week that went by, um, my other organs started shutting down and so it was just a really scary time of not knowing what the future again holds for me and so um, about a week later, I found out that there was another liver available and that I was going to get a second transplant. So I had a second transplant. Everything went really well. Um, I woke up and this time I didn't feel as great. Um, I had been through three um, big surgeries within just a couple weeks and I just had no energy. It was really difficult to get out of bed and to walk for the first time, but it was just knowing that I had family and friends out there and lots of prayers going on and that I needed to take that first step. So I got up and with some amazing nurses walked around the floor for the first time and really haven't looked back. Um, I ended up being in the hospital for a little over a month um, and it was a difficult month, but I was able to finally get home and um, it's been really great. Having gone through everything that I've gone through the last few months has really shown me that I can get through anything, but not without the support of all my family and friends and my amazing colleagues that have helped me get through it all. So I look forward to my future and understand that a liver transplant is not a cure. Surgery is not a cure. And so I will continue to fight the fight and work with the foundation until we have cures for IBD.